Texas Medical Board suspended the license of a well-known North Texas psychiatrist who stands accused of assault with a deadly weapon. This is video of Dr. David Henderson, who has in the past appeared here on CBS 11. He is now facing serious charges. Our Nick Starling spoke with one of Henderson's attorneys and his alleged victims. It is common for people to get scared. Dr. David Henderson was not camera shy when talking about mental health issues over the years but now finds himself behind bars. The Texas Medical Board on Tuesday temporarily suspended Henderson's license after two separate counts of aggravated assault using a deadly weapon. This is his mugshot. We are told from the Dallas County Sheriff's Office he was in a restraint chair for officer safety when this photo was taken. According to an affidavit, the two victims are his wife and Michael Wasaki, a family law attorney who's known Henderson for years for being a testifying expert in cases. We've had a great deal of experience uh, working with him. Wasaki says after noticing Henderson was not mentally well, he tried to get him an appointment to see a psychiatrist, but it did not end well after meeting up. I witnessed Dr. Henderson uh, exiting the back parking lot in his vehicle. Uh, he spotted me in my vehicle. Uh, he turned his vehicle into oncoming traffic and uh, swerved toward my vehicle and at the same time reaches into his vehicle and pulls out his left hand and within about 30 feet between himself and myself uh, in our respective vehicles uh, pointed a uh, a firearm uh, in my direction. Wasaki said Henderson then rushed towards North Park Mall where police captured him. At the time of uh, his arrest, he was found to have a loaded uh, pistol um, on his person in his waistband. Henderson's attorney tells us he pled not guilty. He was having a mental episode. I think it's clear from all of the objective evidence that Dr. Henderson was legally, um, as it's defined by the law, legally insane at the time he's accused of committing these offenses. And says Henderson is getting the help he needs right now and competent to stand trial. I think that we've seen Dr. Henderson go from somebody who was uh, clearly and unequivocally in a psychotic state, um, not of his own making, to somebody who is on the road to recovery and who's doing much better. Henderson is held at the Dallas County Jail on $10 million bond. In Dallas, Nick Starling. CBS 11 News. Well, according to his bio, Dr. Henderson served as a psychiatrist at Clear Fork Academy, which is a treatment center for adolescent boys who are struggling with substance abuse and mental illness. And we did reach out to Clear Fork for comment, but so far we have not heard back from them.